I was just thinking about how a large percentage of children's entertainment up until, I don't know, what, 2010 or so, were about teaching basic morality. What happens when someone is greedy? What happens when someone thinks they're the most handsome? What happens when someone thinks they're smarter than everyone else? What happens when someone is too grouchy? What happens when you steal? What happens when you try to make yourself the center of attention? What happens when you go against the advice of just about everyone? To me, the show that did this the most consistently, I mean, even if it were to be based on just the fact that the characters on the show are based on their traits, would be the Smurfs. The entire point of the Smurfs was to teach stories about what happens when you let any of these traits define you. Because if you do, people will react to you this way. It really had no ideology behind it. It was just about teaching little life lessons while trying to be entertaining. Granted, the 1980s satanic panic crowd sure didn't like the show. They thought it had satanic overtones. Kind of silly, isn't it? If they were to make the Smurfs today, I'm betting that really none of those important, timeless lessons would be taught. Sure, the characters would have their traits, but the message would be anti-privilege, anti-patriarchy, anti-racism, anti-cis-heteronormativity, and even anti-white supremacy if they could find a way to do it. It would be all about challenging and dismantling social norms and systems. Systems that are deemed oppressive. But yeah, it just kind of seems that the older, timeless kind of messaging just isn't as important anymore. And as I've said before, even things like the Golden Rule are not really taught anymore because they don't take into consideration the lived experiences of different identity groups. As if a group can be a lived experience, but that's just kind of how they, they want it to be viewed. If you're of this demographic, then you're probably going to have experienced X or Y. And we're always supposed to be on top of any of it. You know, we're supposed to have infinite empathy, as if empathy is unlimited to begin with. And it's a real shame. Thanks for watching.